Hello everyone. In this video I want to talk about math operations that we can do to our NumPy arrays. We'll look at vectorization and linear algebra. Let's jump right in. Here in our text editor, let's import NumPy as NP. We'll go ahead and create two list variables. So list A will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then list B will be negative 1, 2, 4, and 6. We'll create two arrays like how we did last time. So np.array, pass in the object of list A. D type will be np.int32, and then B will be the same thing. So MP array pass in list B, D type equals int32. Let's go ahead and print array A. We'll open up a command prompt or a terminal, python3, and then mpmath.py is the name of my file. We see that we get the array 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say we wanted to increase every value in this array by 1. Without NumPy, this operation becomes a lot harder. Let's look at how we would do it without NumPy vectorization. Without NumPy, we would have to create a new empty list. So list A2 will be an empty list. And then for us to do an operation on each one of these list elements, we would have to use a for loop. The for loop would look something like this. For element and list a element equals element plus one. Then we would have to append each of these new elements to our empty list. So list a2 dot append and then we'll append each element. When we print list a2 we should have increased every value by one which we have. However with numpy this gets a lot easier due to the vectorization of our array. Instead of creating a for loop how we have here we're actually able to do element wise operations on a numpy array. For us to do the same operation and add one to each value in the array all we have to do is pass in the array and then say plus one. When we print this we get the same result as our for loop. NumPy vectorizes its arrays, so that means we're able to do operations across the entire array instead of stepping through them how we have to in a Python loop. This vectorization really helps whenever we start adding arrays to other arrays. If we drop down a line and say print np.add, so using the NumPy add function, a and b, we can see how easy it is to add two array values and create one array. This addition is just stepping through each of the array values and adding them together. So 1 plus minus 1 returns a 0, and then each of them do likewise. We don't have to type it like this, we can use the simple operations as well. We have access to a lot of different math functions, but we'll just cover some of the basic ones. We can say a plus b, a minus b, a times b, a divided by b, and we can take square roots as well. So np.square root a. Executing all of these, we can see how easy it is to use NumPy vectorization in our math operations. Since NumPy works this way, these vectorized operations are usually a lot quicker than these Python for loops. So if you're dealing with a lot of data, using a NumPy array is almost always better than just using a Python for loop. We have access to a lot of different math operations using NumPy and I'll be sure to link this page below. Additionally, NumPy is very useful whenever you start using linear algebra functions. Because of this, a lot of MATLAB users may find NumPy very useful. We can see how simple it is to do linear algebra by just using a dot function. Here, depending on the shape of these two arrays, we'll get a different product. Since both of these are one dimensional, that means we'll get the inner product between these two vectors. NumPy math operations are pretty straightforward. NumPy NumPy doesn't necessarily give us any new math operations, however it makes the math operations that we know in Python very easy to apply to an array. The key takeaways from this video are that we're able to vectorize an array and make it perform a lot faster in our Python script. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.